Hey, everybody. Peanut's back, and she's a little excited today. She's kind of been in, like, this really weighty mood. And there she went to get you. I'm going to be limp. Everybody, we need a story about Peanut. Everybody wonders what her story is. Peanut is an eight-year-old chihuahua mixed with a Tibetan spaniel. There's only five of her in the whole world. She's very, very sweet. A little too sweet sometimes, the things that I'm... A licking post. Uh, she came from Cesar, Illinois, kind of all close to my hometown. I grew up in Valier with my mom and my stepdad and my sister. Peanut is a very, very, very exceptionally smart little girl. She has got everything from nail polish to clothes. Yes, she's a pampered little brat. This dog won't even swim without a swimsuit on. She's that picky. She has a stroller. The little neighborhood kids give her a ride in every day. Uh, she goes shopping with mommy to Roking and to the mall. Everybody knows her because of her wave. She's very, very, very awesome. Uh, I love her because she's unique. I love her because she's like a kid more than a dog. And... Yeah, everybody just saw your butt. Everybody just saw your butt. Oh no, what you gotta do about it? Slave some more. That's what I do. Well, that's what you do. Uh, she does have this nasally whine sometimes, which can't be helped. It's because the way her nose, her sinuses are shaped. It's kind of a defect that she has, but we still love her no matter what. She's so cute. She's lost both her biological mother and her biological father. So me and my husband are now her parents. We have taken care of her ever since she was a baby. She came into my husband's life whenever he, whenever she was two. And she came into my life at just a few weeks old. She's very, very, very sweet, content. Oh, she's not on camera. That was great. Everybody just loved to see my open mouth there. Um, car rides are the greatest thing in the universe. Uh, we like to ride in the car. We like to go and eat hot dogs. Like hot dogs? Some hot dogs and some pizza? Well, hot dogs and pizza. How do we get pizza with hot dogs on it? It's a bacon. Extra cheese. Garlic butter on the side. Ooh, Papa John sounds good right now. We'll say we should call her ass daddy. Oh, you're going to love it when mommy goes back to work. All that chicken. Yes, I work at KFC. My dog loves KFC. So it sucks we don't have popcorn chicken anymore because I want my popcorn chicken. Popcorn chicken. She likes our new bites, but they have to be chopped up. They're too big for her little tiny mouth. Uh... You could give her any can of wet food you want, and you are her best friend for the entire, like, for the rest of her life. Uh, she's kind of sleepy right now. I think it's about nap time. Um, uh, yeah, it's nap time. But, yeah, she's everybody's favorite dog with a dog. So, I'm about, I'm say I'm right up there with Bob and Grumpy Cat. Grumpy Cat loves me. Grumpy Cat says, I'm your fan. Oh my gosh, we're kissing. Yes, Tina is fans of Grumpy Cat, and she's fans of Bub. Um, she's also fans of many other animals in the world. Uh, she has her own Facebook page. She's a dog. I'm looking at a dog with 307 Facebook friends. A dog! How does that happen? I don't even have 300 and some odd Facebook friends. My dog does. How that happens, I don't know. Uh, Peanut has her own YouTube channel. Well, it's mine and her YouTube channel. Uh, many videos of her up on there. Uh, Spec is my other little boy. Come here, Spec. Sad of the world. Spec is my little boy. He's kind of scared of everything, including the smoke alarms, to the point we make fun of him and say he vibrates. Uh, whenever the smoke alarms go off in the house, he gets this horrible shake. To him, it's like he's terrified of the smoke alarms. They're gonna eat him or something. They're gonna take his brains out of his head. Uh, Speck is two years old. He 
thinks he's a cat. He's not very bright. And he's so dumb he runs into the wall. Oh, but he can give high fives and that's about it. Speck came to us from Harrisburg, uh, Harrisburg, Illinois. A friend of mine, her dog had just had puppies and they didn't know what to do with them. They had a litter of three. His name started out, whenever we got him, his name was Cow Tipper Linky. I'm sorry, but that does not look like Cow Tipper Muscles, so. Whenever his hair is growing out, he looks like Pee Wee Herman's dog. So we got to looking at him, and I'm like, let's name him Speck. So, that's where Speck's name came about. Peanut's name actually came from her eating peanuts and peanut butter with my mom. So, I just looked at her and said, Peanuts! Peanuts! And Peanuts was like, Oh, I don't know who you're talking to! Oh my god! He came right to me. Uh, Speck is, his favorite foods are hot dogs and cheese and bacon. As you can see, he's kind of non-responsive here. This is just him in general. Uh, Speck eats five times a day, has been warmed, has had everything seen about. He's in great health. He's scrawny. See, see, look at that scrawny little body. He eats like a horse. Never gains a pound. Oh, yeah, show him your muscles. Oh, yeah, show him the muscles. Er, show him the muscles. Now yeah, you have no muscles. You're, you're a weakling. You're a weakling. Mwah. I love you. Poor little speck. Yep. If it wouldn't have been for us, he would have been... Who knows what his life would be like right now. Uh, he's a big coward with... Oh, and this actually almost had puppies. Yes, he almost had puppies. Unfortunately, the whole litter didn't make it, so... I'm telling myself later on in the future, he could try to be a daddy again. We'll find him a new mommy to have babies with. Uh, Speck is what you call a chorky. He's a chihuahua and a yorkie. He was kind of a, another mishap puppy. But whenever we've had several different, several different dogs. But I don't know what it is, but out of the several other dogs we tried, Speck just became that exception that said, hey, I'm the one. Peanut was always my first dog. She was my first, my baby. Everybody asked what I wanted for my birthday. I said, I want a chihuahua. And they're like, what do you want a chihuahua? I said, I want a tiny little bed munchkin. Tiny bed munchkin. Well, Peanut ended up being my tiny bed munchkin. She was this big when I got her. Same span as her ears. Now she's a big old brat. I get everything she wants. And is about ready to fall asleep. So, you want to give him a wave goodbye, Peanut? And we will sign off of here for the no for the day. And let you get back to your nap. Alright, bye everybody.